What's up, YouTube? It's your boy D Dog here. I'm currently at work. Um, today's date is uh, June 18th, 2015. It's like 7:35 in the morning. As you can see, I'm at, I'm at work. Um, I was gonna make this video yesterday um, because I saw a video on my Facebook where this guy was at a gas station. He was at a gas station at 2 o'clock in the morning in Detroit. And uh, he got carjacked for his car. And so one person on my Facebook thought that that was me because the person who got carjacked for his car, we have the same exact vehicle. It was actually all black Dodge Magnum. So um, I'm when I get a chance, I'll put the link of the of what happened in the description when I get a chance but right now you know I'm at the point now where it's like Detroit is getting too wild now to like to even be in and it's like whenever I go to the city I'm only going to the city for a couple things now um, I stay like right out the city you know I stay like on the outskirts of the city um um, one time I go to the city to get my children or when I got to meet up with people and I get the fuck on, you know what I'm saying? Like, I understand you may know your hood, you may stay in your hood, but you got to always remember that it's that one guy that's going to try to test you. My man literally got caught slipping. Like some people on my Facebook was like, man, if I had my gun, I would have shot him. Yeah and no. One one of my friends said he would have shot him as he picked up the keys. Because my man threw the keys on the ground. And my man picked the keys up and had his back turned. My man said he would have shot him. I said, and you would have went to jail and you would have lost your CPL license. Because you are not supposed to shoot nobody in the back. Um, And it made me wonder. It's like, I'm, you know, I recently got my record expunged. Thank God. You know, I, I, you know, I was a, got into some trouble. I'm not about to get to that, but I got in some trouble back in the day. I recently got my record expunged, so I'm now legally, I'm now legally able to carry a firearm. And so now my situation now, I just recently submitted my CPL license, you know, to the state of Michigan. But my situation is the new, this whole open carry thing. Now, I, you know. I applaud people that, you know, to exercise their Second Amendment rights. You know, I'm, I'm cool with that. As long as you're not being a dick about it. You know what I'm saying? But my whole thing is uh, that it's a big gray area. Because if I, you know, when you read the rules of open carry, it's, it's kind of crazy. It's like, yeah, you can have your gun on you. You can open carry, but there's certain rules. You still got to follow the same rules and regulations as if you had a CPL. Certain places you can go in and open carry. When they tell you to leave, you got to leave. You know what I'm saying? I did it twice. And the only time I did it twice is when I had my daughter with me. I had my daughter with me. I had my, my, uh, my six-month daughter. Well, she's six-month today. I had my six-month daughter. And I had her with me for the whole day after I got off work. So I was like, fuck that. I'm going to have my pistol on me. You know, the whole open carry thing, the rules that you got to follow with the open carry thing, it's kind of, it's bullshit, you know, to be honest. Because it's like, all right, in my house, I can conceal carry my pistol. The minute I walk out my house, I got to open carry. I have to make sure my pistol is, is visible to the public. And what this does, the only thing that my issue with open carry is you bring that attention on yourself. And you it's sometimes a good attention or it can be bad attention because when bad attention is officers that are unaware of the open carry laws. Like, you know, somebody in Detroit, I can open carry in Detroit. And, excuse me, I can open carry in Detroit. And a police officer 
They're not going to give a fuck about that. They're going to think that I'm concealed carrying. When it's visible on my hip, I've you know I've seen reports of it. Um, like I'm in an open carry group on Facebook, and this one guy, he beat a, he beat a case, and they tried to say he was concealed carrying, but luckily he recorded himself not, and he got off. And it's like, it shit's a gray area. It's like I get out, I, I when I'm in my house, I concealed carry. I, I walk out, I gotta have my pistol showing visible to the public. I can't have it in my car, right? I can't have it on my hip in my car. That means I gotta put my daughter. I put my daughter in the car. I gotta go to my trunk, unholster my weapon, take it out of the clip, make sure there's not a round in the chamber, check it. You know what I'm saying? Check it, put it in the case, put it in the trunk, get in my car, and go about my business. Then when I get to the destination that I get to, I gotta go to the trunk open the truck take take my gun out the case put the put the magazine in, in the gun put it on my holster then get my daughter now say say as if i'm by myself right and i was out at two o'clock in the morning by myself hey, i want to go to the gas station excuse me i want to go to the gas station and dude try to carjack me do I let him get away with my vehicle when I know when normally there's a pistol in the car? Because it's two o'clock in the morning, you're, I'm not gonna be okay. Let me get out of my car. Let me go and let me go to my trunk, get my pistol, go in the gas station and do that. Most people don't think like that. And like my issue is like. What happened if you just out and about in broad daylight and you traveling from one place to another and someone want to carjack you? You can't, you, you're not allowed to have your pistol on you because it's considered concealable. The shit is still concealable because it's in a fucking car. You can't see it anyway. I'm like, that's, that's my whole gray area. It's like, what happened if someone's trying to, you know, if someone's trying to rob me in my car and I have no way of the, I have no way of uh, defending myself, and I let them just take my car. Now what that makes is there's a pistol out on the street, and who knows what they're gonna use, you know, use it for. You know what I'm saying? They can use it for shootouts. It could be a, you know what I'm saying? Now you know someone do something with that pistol. Now my pistol that I legally bought got bodies on it you know what i'm saying because i let someone i let someone I, I let someone rob me from a car and now i have my pistol in the car and then they find the pistol and then they go do they dirt with the pistol so now my gun got bodies on it because i couldn't have my shit on me in the car you know i feel like they need to change that because like in that situation my man's could have it, it was nothing that he could have done. I mean, if he knew martial arts, he could have done something. But you know, if he knew how to properly defend himself, he could have. He could have got him off him. And um, it's just that you know, the whole the whole open carry thing is great, but it just it's just a lot of gray areas that I don't really understand. You know, in in what situation? You know what I'm saying? So I would like to see, I would like, you know, the people who watch this video, I would like to know your opinion on the open carry laws. I don't know if you have open carry, if open carry is, is you know, available in your state. I know Texas has it. I know, you know, I'm from Detroit, so Detroit, you know, Michigan has it. But, you know, what's your views on open carry? Like, do you like open carry? Do you not like open carry? Do you like guns? Do you not like guns? I mean, tell me why. But the point of this video is like, I feel like everybody in Detroit need to, all law-abiding citizens need to start, you know, they need to go get a firearm, man. You know, they need to. Because I, you know what I'm saying? I feel like now, you know, times are changing, you know, 
people are getting real gutter out here. They're not giving no fucks. And it's like, I had to get, like, I had to, you know, I tried to tell my ex-wife when we were married. I said, you need to get a gun. And she told me, no, I don't need to get a gun because I have a husband. Fuck. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, and, and the reason why I say those things, like I, I told my I told my girlfriend, I said, you need to get a gun. I'm not always going to be around you all the time. It's going to be times when you're going to have to be out and about by yourself. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, a motherfucker might want to try you because you got the baby and, you know, most people, most little, little thugs think that you got the baby, you're more vulnerable, you're not aware of your surroundings because you're focused on the baby. So they try to try you because you, you know, your attention span is elsewhere. You know what I'm saying? So she got a gun. She can shoot. Happy for that. But it's like, I, you know, most people who I talk to, when I tell them, you know, yeah, I got my pistol now, you know, I can legally carry now. And I tell them, like, man, look, you need to go get one because times are changing. I, you know, so I'm from the old school. If I got a problem with somebody, I'm going to talk to them or I'm going to fight your ass with these. I, we can settle it out with these. But motherfuckers ain't fighting no more. Motherfuckers want to shoot people, you know, the car away. So it's like, nah, I got to get with the times. You know, I don't want to shoot nobody. I hope I never have to use my firearm in self-defense ever. I hope I never have to do it. I just want to use my firearm. I want to go to the gun range, shoot the motherfucking paper, go pew, pew. And then, you know, and then I can be like, ha, I had a good day. I'm not stressed out from work anymore. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, I just hope that I'm never in that situation. But if that situation arrives, I got to do what I got to do. You know, but, you know, I encourage people, go take a self-defense class. Take take a karate class. There's many places around Detroit that's offering, you know, free classes. You know what I'm saying? Um, you got to learn how to defend yourself. My man in that video, he could have easily got my man off of him. He could have easily, easily. But who to say in that situation, are you going to act? Are you going to practice with what you know? Because I was thinking about that situation. My, how my man, my, my man was, he was, I'll tell you what he did. He, my man had his car parked right in front of the gas station. My man, when he came outside, had his back turned, getting in the car. My man came up on him with the pistol. My man was like this. My man, and then he pistol whipped him. I think he punched him. And then he told him to get the fuck on. He walked on the other side. He walked behind his car. And then he tossed the keys like 10 feet. And then, and then the man with the pistol, let his, he let his guard down and everything. He picked up the keys and went to and went to the car and drove off. My man ran back to the gas station. It was so many situations. He could have he could have fucked my man up pretty bad. But then again, my man had the gun. First thing you got to do is just on the motherfucker. Like I said, take a self-defense class. You know what I'm saying? You got to take a self-defense class. You know what I'm saying? Shit's getting real, especially... Especially you females out there. Take a self-defense class. Don't think that because you have a boyfriend or you have a husband that they're going to always be there for you, you know, if shit go down. Yeah, we with you right there. We in your presence, of course. We're not going to let shit happen to you. If you got a man and, you, and that nigga let something happen to you, then you need to switch your mans up. You need to get rid of that guy. But... You know, there's going to be times where you can't, um, you got to learn how to defend yourself. Take a, take a women's self-defense class. Go take a CPL class. Go to the gun range. Learn how to shoot a pistol. Buy a pistol. That way you can't, if you're unable to, if you're unable to defend yourself with your fist and you got to pull the heat out, pull it out. But make sure when you pull that bitch out, make sure you pull it out for the right reasons. Because that shit can't land you in jail. I will say that. Don't just think because you got a pistol thinking that you can just go gun ho and start pulling that bitch out on anybody. 
Cause then you go to jail for felonies assault. You know what I'm saying? So that's all. I don't want. I don't want to waste all that time. I spoke to y'all 15 minutes. I just felt like I just need to talk about it. Talk about this. You know the whole robbery situation and open carrying. My issues with open carrying. Just let me know your thoughts, man. Um. That's all. I just want to know how y'all. What y'all thoughts about the whole situation? I'm like I said. I'm gonna link. To, I'm gonna link the video of what happened to my man in the description below. And I, I want I want to hear y'all opinion about you know the topic of the session. All right. Have a good day. Seven fifty. Have a good day at work, everybody. If you don't work, have a good day doing what you do. All right.